This show has been brought to you by patrons such as Green Beast, Distilled Bovine Memory Juices Served in a Chilled Cardboard Container Cube, Phone Losers of America, Gobi, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about the show at immoralhole.com. You can donate to us on Ko-fi at ko-fi.com forward slash travels with Miriam. Hello. Hi there. You got the Ford bottom? What's that? You got the stuff for sale to Dolly? Yeah. Hello. Well, you still got it? Yeah. All right, then. Well, can we make a deal, maybe? On what? On the dolly. Well, I guess that depends. Well, how much you touch the dolly? Excuse me? You like to touch the dolly? Is it clean? My brother's over here beating on some plates. You want him to beat on the dolly? I got some plates. Uh, can I put them on the dolly? We ride around on the dolly. Hey. See, what I got is uh, a oh. bunch of cases of pickles. And I got a cat, too. Can I put the cat on with the pickles? Hey, what's the weight limit on that? I don't know. Maybe one point two pounds? Two pounds? Whatever I can't even carry my lunch. Can't even carry my lunch well, on you, that. I guess you better go get you a stainless lunch box. I tell you, you, you sell me a dollar like that, you better pack your lunch. Uh, I eat at McDonald's. McDonald's? Most sandwiches are too much. What number? Why don't you meet me behind the Walmart? Which one? There's one on every corner. How about a dollar store? Who's closer? Everything's expired at the dollar store. You got milk ready to go bad tomorrow. You got crackers that have been bad a week. You got cereal that's been off since 2012. That's the dollar store. It's still edible. Uh, you saying that expiration dates are just a suggestion. That's right. You like the cans when they bulge? That makes it extra yeah, tasty. So what what are you gonna do with that dolly then? You gonna sell it? You gonna eat it? What you gonna do? I'm thinking about getting a bunch of jar of pickles and hauling it around. Selling pickles, fifty cents a piece. Fifty cents a pickle, that's inflation. That's a that's a that's Putin price on the pickles. It's Putin well, that's pickle price hike is what it, that is. Did I? I don't know. I voted so many times. I don't know who I voted for, to be honest. See, well, you these must people dead, come man. to my door. I'm, <laughs> you know, I was talking to a friend the other day. I said, uh, if dead people can vote, why can't I vote for dead people? Well, anyways, this man, he came to my came to my house and he said, well, you want to vote for Biden, I'll get you some new tires on your truck. And I said, ooh, okay, I'll get some new tires. And then this other fellow came by and he said, I'll get you a new car. Hi, Hello. the house generator. My brother and I are on the phone. We're sharing the phone, one end of my head and one oh, there. of his. Right. Oh, yeah, it sounds like us, brother. 
Are you staying close to the generator? Sounds you got like that disturbing. Atomizing. What? Sounds like you're next to that generator. No, I'm not. Does it work? It's just be, yeah, it works real good. Nothing wrong with it. How many watts is it? It's uh, 4,500. Oh, we could run a refrigerator on that. You could run the whole house on it. Not my house. No, why? I grow the, I grow the marijuana. It well, but, uh, we might could do a trade, dude. I'll trade it for marijuana. Oh. <laughs> that could work. But you I got guys that are good Rhode Island, aren't you? What, what kush? Do what? What, I got what the kind? good kush. Yeah. Uh, well, how come you're, you're calling me from Rhode Island? I got a problem here. My cat is eating my tostada. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, okay. Well, you know, when, I, when my cat when my cat eats my tostada, I eat my cat. Oh, that great great so problem. problem you make you make, you make yeah, a tostada problem, out of the kitty cat. Yes, yeah. See, yeah. If you ever connect generator, that generator? Uh, you ever connect that generator to your your nipples? No, I, I, I cut it to my penis, though. Yeah, but it didn't, uh, it didn't feel too good. Oh, it didn't work? No. Yeah. So where are we going with all this, well, fellas? What happened to the, what happened to your sidekick there? He's not really pitching in nothing on this. I'm well, vomiting. He's, he's, I'm per currently vomiting. I have stomach acid in my throat. Thank you. Stomach he's, acid? He's, uh... He's providing the capital for this year transaction. I see. I got a feeling there's probably not going to be no transaction. I don't know where we're going with all this, but uh, but I'm going to pay you a lot. You said you was up for you know. a transaction of the of a. You said you was up for a transaction of a unusual nature. Absolutely. Uh, you know, of course, uh, if you're in the right on this, going to make it a little difficult. Uh, with the fuel cost and all, you know. Now I can't buy this thing if it's going to cause climate change. Um, well, you know, it's it's uh, better than a than a, a you know Honda generators are typically more efficient than say your Predator generator from Harbor Freight, which I have one of those as well. But um, no, that, that that thing right there, it's a little bit more of a polluter than this Honda is, but. But it's not an onan. It's not, you know, it's a, uh, it's it's got a little noise to it. But it starts on the first pull, and it's uh it's fairly quiet in 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 uh, mm -hmm. respect to other generators. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know what the decibel number is on it. I can't be that specific with you, but the way Google search would tell. You. Now, can it can it be converted to run off of Prius owner farts? Because I heard those don't cause climate change. I don't know anything about that, to be honest with you. I spoke too much of that good OG Kush in my life to be holding that kind of information in my brain. I love oh, I you, sir. I like diesel. I, I want to buy you like and your generator. Well, well, you know what? We're both for sale, actually. But I just would love to find mm. good sources of good OG. That'd be, uh, that'd be awesome because... Uh, I don't know where you what you guys pay for it where you're at, but I mean I get it as cheap as a hundred dollars a zipper here, but but uh oh that's uh you know, that's some stuff that's been probably run through a trimming machine and shaking most of its crystals off and shipped from Colorado to Indiana. I like them fake cigarettes. You ever eat them fake What's cigarettes when you was a kid? And fake cigarettes, I bought a pack of them the other day. I thought they quit selling them. I thought they took them off the market, and I see the pack of them. The chewing gum and the little powder inside? Well, no, these were the candy cigarettes, the hard candy ones. Oh. See, they was teaching us how to smoke. Teaching you what? I remember the gumbo gumbo gum cigars, but... 
I was walking around with a fake cigarette in my mouth in the first grade. Isn't that messed up? Well, I was going to school in the ninth grade, in the eighth grade, with a shirt that said Bunda 714 on it. It was a baseball jersey. My parents loved Quaaludes, and they, they made us, me and my cousin's jersey, so it had the numbers of Quaaludes on it. Well, because we can't actually meet in public without parental supervision, I'll call you back at another time, and we set up a play date, and we can have this transaction. Okay, that sounds good to me. I'm putting in a swimming pool right now, yeah, so I got to get off this line, but, uh, but yeah, you can call me anytime. And, uh, like I say, can I'm I always come swim with you. Can you come swing with me? Well, sir, I mean, I think uh, yeah, that and swim. Swim, swim, oh, swim, and swim. Well, swing and swim. Well, well, I don't really go that way, but the swimming part, this is a customer's pool and that's not mine. So I don't really own a swimming pool. I'm just installing one for somebody. And I'm putting water in it now, so. That's you ever leave a I Snickers in the pool when you're done with it? Leave a Snickers in the pool? like a log. Yeah, I leave a Snickers in the, in the pool the so the customer thinks you. Hmm? No, I, I left a real Snickers in the, in, the, in the Patoka Lake the other day. I just wasn't going to make it in time, so I just let it fly. Oh, my goodness. You think the fish going to eat that? Well. If I see them do it, I'm going to start using it for bait because I love the fish. Mm -hmm. If I ever see that happen, like, oh, I'll bite it above it. I mean, I'll, I'll cut the water with it. Uh, I love the fish, and if that's what they're going to eat, then I'll be like, oh, that's what I will give them. But, matter of fact, I'm I going to this to liberals. Them here. I went to this liberals, park for what? liberals. Yeah, it was a park for well, liberals that says, you can only cast. You can't have a lure or a hook. What kind of oh, nonsense is that? That's kind of pointless, ain't it? That's what they do at Bass Pro Shop when they're fishing in that big tank they got, so they don't hurt the fish. I love that big tank at Bass Pro Shop. I do, too. I, I saw all the time I was there at a grand opening, and the man was doing what he was doing, casting that lure in there, showing us how it works, and, and a big old 40-pound uh, flathead catfish Put a seven pound bass in its mouth and couldn't see nothing but its tail just swinging out of its mouth and swam around with it for about, I don't know, about two minutes maybe and then it spit it out. But that just goes to show you, you can never use shop. too big of a bait in Corksville. That's again. why I use, oh yeah, that's why I use my limbs. Yeah. I sever my own limbs live. and I throw them in there for bait. Well, that sounds kind of But she's like the best, the best pro shop, that's shot. like the hobo seat. That's a hobo sea world, that back of the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, that's that's the holy grail of there. fishermen. Yep. Don't even All need right, to take I the kids it. to Sea World to be like, all right, yeah, finish you that pool. Uh, 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 I'd love to do some business on that, on that OG, but we'll have to figure that out. OG push? Yes, sir. I was, uh, it's a all right, you finish. Train. Yeah, you finish burying them bodies under that pool and we talk. Well, okay, sounds good. All right, goodbye. Bye now. It looks like okay. from here on out. IRS, Brown Division. Huh? You're in the Hello? what? Don't be, don't be fucking dumb. That's a crime. You can't do that. You cannot impersonate the IRS. That's a federal who, offense. Who gives a fuck? Who are now, you? What do you want? Sit, hey, sit down and answer my questions, motherfucker. All right, go have a seat over there. I got to ask you some questions about these guns. Oh, what's up? Nothing. Like, which ones do you still have for sale, or are they all for still for sale? Uh, I still, I got a. I, I get so many fucking. I get. I get so many goddamn spam calls, dude. Fucking Indians always calling me. Oh yeah. No. no, no. Oh yeah, I, I, understand. A, I understand. They call. They call me all the time. They're like, "Hey, you want to extend your car's warranty?" I was like, "I have a bike." Exactly. No shit. Yeah, like, I mean, if you look at my truck, twenty two years old. That's so weird. But oh, yeah, yeah you, bet, you, bet, you better get a war You better get an extended warranty on that. I'm pretty sure that one's going to be up about any day. No shit. <laughs> no, no. I still got the. Uh, I still got the Ramson R15. Uh, I still got it, and I still got. A, I still got that Savage 20 gauge bolt action slug gun. Oh, bolt action. I'm kind of interested in that one. Um, but these are all legit ones, right? Because I called a guy and I went out to his house to check it out. 
And all it was, he like printed it with his 3D printer. Like it was all plastic and shit. It was like, it felt like I went to Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah. He had print out, he printed out a whole thing except for the barrel and stuff. You know, the barrel couldn't be plastic. Yeah. No shit. No, <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah. That's so fucked up. Yeah, no, yeah. And I was, I was like, well, where's, I was asking, I was like, you know, where's the serial number? I got to register this and all that shit. And the guy's like, he, he just winked at me and he just like put his hand up to his mouth. He was like, shh. He was telling me to be quiet, you know? No, no, they're all legit guns. Is this your cell phone? Yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I can send you pictures of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can send me pictures, yeah. All right, give me great. one. Yes, sir. I was going to say, that's a weird ass cell okay. phone. Yeah. Do you take your old lady out shooting too? Is she, she, she do the, the shooting guns? Shit, she got more guns than I got. <laughs> oh, shit. Better not, you better not, you better not piss her off. Right? Better, better, treat her, better treat her right. You're going to wake up like the, in that one movie. What was that? Goodfellas. Yeah, the his yeah, wife was over him with a with, with the revolver because she found out he was cheating. Yeah, yeah, she's. I hope she ain't that crazy. Let yeah. me see. Yeah. Let's see. Do do text. Yeah, these fucking these fucking scammers just piss me off sometimes. So if you tell me it's IRS, they don't really call you back after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've uh, a couple times. I shot my phone one time because they were on there all the time. They were. Oh shit! What is that? Calling me. Hi. Yeah, you're calling her. Too. Well, I gotta get. I, yeah, I gotta get your. I gotta get your wife in here. She's gotta be part of the conversation. We gotta we'll all be on the same page so that all of our stories line up. Wrong. All of our stories are gonna have to are gonna have to line up if we get in trouble. Okay, so that's why that's why I called. She's on she's on the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, I just said. Okay, so okay, so, so, we're all, okay, so we're so we're all in agreement. So, like I'm literally so, sitting here deciding. Right. Okay. Good. Good. I just wanted to, I just wanted to get that I just wanted to get that out there. Right. So, I'm having my coworker call. <laughs> So, like, I'm I sell magazine subscriptions. Hey, Daddy. Oh, yeah, I, I was bring, I was bring your son to work day. What's up, son? Um, oh, I'm Halloween's here. not too far away. Can you get me a ghost gun for Halloween? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm I'm working on. I'm gonna get the ghost gun from this. I mean, I'm gonna oh, get a great. legit gun yeah. from this guy. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. That that that's my six year old. I'm getting him a gun. Yeah, I'm stitching. One, two, three, four, five, six pictures of a Remington. Okay. I got send, me, send, me one, send, me, send me one. Send me one. Send me one of your of your old lady. I'm my old lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, old lady. Like, tell your kid to stop fucking touching my leg, man. Hey, you go back to your fucking cubicle and you worry about your own shit. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. I ask you to dial one fucking phone number and then this is bullshit happens. <laughs> Why does your wife? Why does your wife keep hanging up? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm sitting here. I'm a car back. Yeah, she's right next to me. Okay, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call her back. I'm gonna call her back. Oh shit! What are you doing now? We're at the call center. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So, so yeah. But you, you, I saw in here that you're open to a barter. For the gun? So for which one? For the bolt action, a barter. Uh well what do you, what do you got? Um I'm very handy with my hands. Would you like me to do some things around your house? Uh, I'll ask her. I... Or if you want something from somewhere, I, I know a I know a guy that steals. Like if you need something from a store or something, I have a guy that steals. <laughs> He was asking about barter. I don't do. I don't do I don't, I don't do. I don't do. I don't do that because they do. They do background checks here at work, so I can't get into it. But I know a guy, and he steals. Oh shit! Let me see. I'll get a picture of that twenty gauge for you, right quick. Okay. Find the keys. Right. 
Can you go outside and shoot it in the air so I know it works? The 20 gauge? Well, yeah. this ain't got ammo. It ain't got ammo for it. I'm, I'm over 12 gauge. I'm a 20 gauge guy. Oh. But, uh, or just one of them. Man, just I'm just, have, just in the air so I, can, so I can know it works. So what? If you want to just take one of them outside and just, just shoot it in the air so I know it works. Oh, I, I can take that R15 outside and pop around. I have no problem. No oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because, like I said, that last guy really fucked me up in the head. And so, like, I'm oh, trying to make, like, I don't even think the thing worked. I was, I was ready to fall apart. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I got you, man. Look, I, I yeah. don't mind proof my shit shoots, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I would greatly appreciate it. Put my mind at ease, you know. I'm sitting here, I'm checking <laughs> out these pictures you just sent of the other, of the one there. Right. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Hey, that's horn at ease. Coyote round. Oh, shit. Which one? Okay, these work. Yep. Yeah, he went. He, he was telling me he went look at another gun. Another guy had. He three D printed a gun out. <laughs> yeah, I three D printed it. It looked like a super soaker. Daddy. What's the matter, huh? What's the matter, honey? There's a man at the front oh, door. He says he's officer. your PO. Uh, is my parole officer yeah. here? Okay, yeah. tell him I'll be with him in a moment. Now he wants to hear it shoot because he went and looked at another gun. Some guy. Huh? If you wait, these kids are here. All the other kids, big white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I know how that goes. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. You're ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm fucking ears. Oh. And is that good enough? Uh, hello? Hello? You got the air conditioner? Uh, yeah. Oh. It's still it's still available. Yeah, it's still available. All right, let me put my brother on. He's he's looking for an air con. And he's been looking for a while now, and they're all sold out. And they don't push the good old yeah. dirty refrigerants. Yeah, I've been looking for a con air. And uh, is that what you got? No, oh, it's a a kid holder. Do what now? You said you was selling Con Air. No, it's a Kenmore air conditioner. Oh, that's trash. I had one of those. Hellfire, oh, it started to spit fire. I hear a farting noise on your end. You got some rumble in your tumble? Oh, well, maybe. What you getting ready air conditioner for? Because I got a new one. Oh, you trying to pass off your old crusty one on me? I don't even know. I know it's working. Hello? Hello. Hi, you have the, the, the machines with the uh, that fire? What? The machine that fires, it fires lead at things, you know? You know wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Mm, yeah. What's up? Oh, I thought you were you were selling objects that produce a uh, flame. I got what you're projectile. saying. Oh, 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 excellent. Mm -hmm. Let me put my brother on. He knows more about the projectiles. I, I don't know about projectiles. I just got a slingshot. Mm -hmm. I got a slingshot that? that has a... Yeah. What are you what, selling? What can I help you with, sir? Well, I need some something for self defense. Hello. 
Hi, you have the tools? Tools! No. Tools! No. Tool Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice Aww. messaging system. People are is so not available. Quick to At the tone, the please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up <laughs> or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. I got a, what do you do to get a torque wrench out your ass? Call me and let's talk about it. Call us back about the tools. You, you, big you, tools. you got the lube, we got the time. Call us back there, boy. Mm. I'm just going to grunt. No one is available to take your call. Please leave wake a message. Up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time to wake up. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. <laughs> Answer the phone. Answer the phone. <laughs> We need air conditioners. We're very hot. Please help. What? Hello? 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 The monkeys Hello? are loose. Ma'am, the monkeys are loose. What yes, monkeys? the monkeys are loose. What are loose. Monkeys? The monkeys got loose. They got out of the room. Oh, no. This is a catastrophe. Mom? Who is this? Mom. Scott, it's Scott. Scott? Yeah. What's the matter? I bought a ring of tings on Amazon and now they're out of they're out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> they're throwing feces. <laughs> ah! They're throwing feces. <laughs> What should what I do? What the hell are you talking about? I bought the, I got a, I, I ordered some orangutans on Amazon on Prime Day, and I didn't realize how out of control. I thought they were domesticated, but they're not, and they're throwing feces. Who is this anyway? <laughs> it's, Scott. It's, Scott. it's Scott. It's Scott. Scott? Yeah, it's Scott. Oh no! <laughs> Is the machine still going, Mom? It's Scott. The machine isn't disconnected. God damn you, Amazon Prime Day! I thought they oh, were sea no. monkeys. Hello. Who is this? Oh, my name is Dwight, and I'm a criminal. Your name is Dwight, and you're a criminal. I'm here to engage in civil disobedience and discussion. It sounds like you're a freaking idiot, so it sounds like. Why are you calling here? Because this is the last phone number that called my mom, and she's been getting harassing phone calls. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Huh? You need to stop. You're being really aggressive. You need to, you're being, you're being really aggressive. You need to just bring it back down just a little bit. You're being a little aggressive. You're being really stupid. I got to go rip ass in the bathroom right now. I got to get some mustard, though. Hello? <laughs> is that all you can do is laugh? Do you have any type of mustard? Dijon? Yellow mustard? Hot mustard? Yeah, I got mustard. Do you got mustard? Do ya? Drinking in moderation blows. It doesn't sound like you're drinking in moderation. Are you joshing me? Oh no, I would never. Are you joshing me over there? No, but um, like straight up on a for real note. Are this you is joshing like a 70 me? 74 year old woman. Yeah, Scott, 
Oh, yeah. So please don't call her anymore because she's 74. That's old. Like, you need to respect. I forgot what we're talking to this guy about. Yeah. Hi there. You got the 5x8 utility trailer for sale? Yeah, I do. All right, then. And what kind of condition is it in? It's in, it's in good condition. All right. And what exactly is good? Because that could be, it could be horrible for me. I mean, if it's, if it's got parts hanging off of it, I mean, that might still be good in your view, but in my view, that's, that's something that's half a part. No, it ain't half a part. It's, it's a good trailer. I mean, you're welcome to come look at it if you want to, or I can send you a picture. All right. Can you send me a picture of it? Yeah, what? To this number here? Oh, yeah. Just give this number a call, too. You can get it on my mastering machine, and I'll give you a call back. I'm sorry. I got to... I got to make a uh, uh, bowel movement out my mouth. You got a problem, man, ain't you? Are you okay? Do I? I think my brother just pooped out of his mouth. He did? Yeah, he passed out. But you got he a problem, man. <laughs> Got so he, there, um, he made these like retard taco pies. So what mm -hmm. he did is he took um, tortillas and he got them all wet and then he dredged them in cinnamon sugar and then took cream cheese and pie filling and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And he ate like two of those. Mm -hmm. I think that's why he threw up. Probably, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> is he, uh, is, is he so how, I need to... Do what? What is, what is he trying to buy? A utility I can, trailer. I can help. A utility he trailer? That, he asked me, did I have a utility trailer, a 5x trailer, and I said yes. Does, oh he need goodness. a trailer? Does he need a trailer? Well, he's got a lot of trash in the yard I told him to get rid of. Maybe that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. How big is the trailer? Five by eight. Okay, he's got a sofa out here. He's got a car on blocks. He's got a tore up uh, trampoline. Mm -hmm. He's got a dining set, some old dressers. Um, he's mm -hmm. got a, an old TV set. Um, he's got some washer and dryer out there. Mm hmm. Um, you know, he was he was on that Hoarders. You know that show, Hoarders? Hoarders, yeah. I've, I've, I've seen it, yeah. But I, I, I mean, I ain't, I ain't watched it for a long time. Yeah, I'm in the house is a disgusting, filthy, smelly mess, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And I think he needs that trailer because they're going to come and take the house if he can't get all this stuff out of here. Mm -hmm. Well, what about you all located at? Uh, my brother, I think I need to take care of my brother. He's, he hasn't Hello. woke up yet. Hello. Oh, there he is. Hey, I'm back. You're back? Good thing you're back. I'm back. Mm -hmm. Do you remember who you are? I remember who I is. I'm Downey the Clown. No, that's not what you is. Hello. Are you calling about the... The children's parties. Home of what? Are you calling about uh -oh. my children's parties? I'm a clown. I do parties. I think it's finally happened. Well, what's happened? You done lost your shit. I'm definitely the clown. Is he interested in the trailer or not? I think he's about interested in uh, involuntary committed to a mental institution I right like now. Touch the things. What about you all located at? He's licking the trailer. The, huh? Mm. He's licking the blueberries on the wallpaper. What about, we got what fruit about, on the wallpaper. He's licking it. What, what about you? What about you all located at? Uh, we're on uh, 
Route 23, right out of uh, South Bend. Out of where? Louisiana. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. That's a long way. I'm in Somerset. See, as you can tell, my brother, I think he lost his damn mind calling people so far away. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm sorry he wasted your time. I mean, he's. I'm gonna have to take care of him now. And all this trash in the front. What's going on? Why is Dowdy out in the yard? What's going on? Yeah. Well, those 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 people in the white coats. They're they're here to clean up the front yard. Oh God, yes. They're gonna take you away for a while, and then it's gonna be like a reveal, like a surprise. When they bring you back, everything will be clean. What's going on out here, dear? I don't know. I have a dirty clue. They're taking down the away. No, you can't take our son. You can't take him. Well, uh, we get everything straight now. You can holler back at me. Okay, we'll holler back at you, please. Okay. I'm going on a okay. nice trip with these funny people. You just called me. Who is this? Yeah, I think I got you talking to you. I just calling you back to tell you about the trailer. Uh huh. Huh? Oh shit! I'm sorry, man. It must be a wrong number because I just got a scam likely guy. The scam. What this number? <clears throat> this number here. I just dialed. It. I was talking to someone about a trailer. I was gonna call back and make sure it's official number. What number? The number is on my phone. I just put a free dial. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What number just called you prior to me that you think is a scam? Mm, I don't know. I can't, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see it on my phone without, without hanging up. I had to hang up and push my phone and it will tell me. Hold on a second, ma'am. I can't hear you very well. Hold on. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. So, um, it, hey, so, uh, I've been, um, I do like, uh, storage units, you know, like people don't pay them and I like uh, pay for them and stuff. And I think I came across some, it was like a safe and I think it had your address on it, your, your phone number and address on it. And so I like Jimmy did open and there's like all this money in it. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't do you think, think it belongs so. to you. How do you even know what my name is? Well, I don't. It's just, it's a, it's like a safe I found in the storage unit and it had this phone number on it. Yeah. How long have you I had this phone number? So. There's like paper stocks of like Campbell's soup and GM from like the 1920s. Um, yeah, I think there's yeah. actually like, uh, yeah, and I think there's like a handwritten letter from Henry Rockefeller in here. Uh-huh. I think you're full of shit. Don't ever call me again. Weird, man. <laughs> Hello? You have the large white insulated panel still? Yep. Oh, and what are they, what's the material? Is it... Is it a material that you can put, like, on the wall? Or you can put it on the yep. ceiling? Yep. You can put it on your car and drive around with it on your car, replacing the, the ceiling of your car, or no? Yep. Okay. What eludes me is uh, what the price was. I'm sorry. What were you selling them for? Six dollars. Okay. And how many? How many you have? Well, I have a bunch. Is it like two, three, fifty, a million? Uh, several hundred. Several hundred. Okay. Are these the sort of thing like in a drop ceiling or is it just like things you found off a space station and you 
and they're radioactive and you're trying to sell them to unsuspecting idiots. Well, I kind of knew it was, that's who was calling an unsuspecting idiot. Man, this shit gets old. You've been doing this for a long time. You need to just quit playing with your dick and quit calling me. I don't I'm call back. Shut the fuck that. up. That's disgusting. Hello. Hello, does this sound Hello. any better? It ain't better, is it? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Nothing. I'm calling about that, that cord of wood you got. About the wood? Yeah, the wood. Yes. Yeah, well, I've got uh, I've All right, got how much are you asking for it? Wood and kindling. It's for, it's for kindling, and so, like, if I want to put it in my wood-burning stove and everything to heat it up, it'd be good then. Yeah, yeah. I've got kindling. All right. Which you'd have to cut that stove with. But I already got some uh, sassafras, uh, maple, and oak mm -hmm. that's cut in blocks. Oh, like yeah. That. Yeah, well, what I want to do is I'm going to I want to get some of it, and I'm going to... I'm gonna drive down the road and just kind of sporadically just toss some of it into the road. Then I'm gonna go hide in the woods and just watch and see what happens. Oh yeah, well that that cause something to go wrong more than likely. Well, you know I don't have TV, so I'm I'm very uh, I guess I'm really easy to please and to entertain. So I figured you know a couple good sized pieces of wood and uh, strategically placed out in the middle of the road, but we're gonna make some things happen. I'd say it would. I've seen a block of wood in the road today somewhere. Come to think about it. Oh, hell yeah. Well, that was me. Hmm. Well. I'm just, I just want to, I just want to, I'm going to videotape it. I'm going to put it on the internet and I'm going to try to get some clicks and likes and see if I can get into a new career. Uh, yeah, it might, it might make a career for somebody. Put oh, hell yeah. Like, you want to come yeah, down? Yeah. Wanna come, you you want to come, you want to come down and watch with me? Uh, not really. I don't think I want to get involved. Well, I mean, I, I want to get the wood. And if they ask me where I got the wood from, I'll give them your phone number, and uh, then you can talk to them. And they'll, they'll ask you why you gave me a, an assault log, yeah. knowing how, how, what I was going to do with this, an assault log. Yeah, well. Anyway. Well, I'd be good for, for firewood. I wouldn't have intentions of doing All right, cool. Like so I'm a, I'm a, you're up you're up right now. I'm gonna come on over and uh, get some of this wood. Suit yourself on that. Do what now? Suit yourself. Get it myself. I said suit yourself. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from my house, my trailer. Where's that at? Uh, it's over here. I, I actually don't have a physical address. I found this little dead-end dirt road, and I just kind of parked it there for the last six months. Okay. It's over here in Cum. It's over here in. It's over here in Cumland. Cumland uh, over here on Horse Machine Ranch Road. Is that in Wayne County? Yo, hell yeah. I don't think I've heard of it before. Yeah, it's a little dead dead end road down here. God damn it. Well. Well, well I'm going to come get it right I'm now. Come. I'm coming to get it. Hello. God damn it. Hello. That wood cut like you always cut. Let us. Thank you for calling Hyman House. How may I help you? Hyman House? Is Hi. this the right place, honey? No, sir. You got the wrong number. I, no, no, no. I think I have the right number. All right. What right, would you like is, to know? You have rooms? And yes, we do. Do you have vacancies? For when, sir? For tonight? Oh, to, yeah. For tonight, yes, I do, but I won't be able oh, to look yeah. it up because our computer is being used right now. We are checking oh, somebody. What's, what's it, oh, you have, you have only one computer? 
Yes, sir. We only have one oh computer. So if you want, you oh, can call, call us back. Oh, did I call 1984? And... Is it 1984 there? What is 1984, sir? Oh, it's when you know businesses only have one computer instead of like you know the computer in your in your hand that you take with you everywhere. No, I, I do understand what you're trying to oh. say. So yeah. So if you I, want, I would you can call us back in maybe... ten minutes. Oh, is that when you get a new computer? Ten minutes? Yes, okay, sir. yeah. Well, we're going to get the computer in ten minutes, okay? The other oh, computer. Oh, cool. All right? Oh, wow. It's All like right. It's 1985, so, and we're getting a 3 Did you want us to wow. call you back, or yes, did you please, want to call yes, back? Yes, please, yes. All right, please can I have your phone number Thank then? Thank you. Oh, it's right there, right there, right, right. Max Casino, this is Heather speaking. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I was there last night, and... It was really bad, but I, I forgot my bag of chips, and I was wondering if anybody found them. Like potato chips? Yes. God damn it. Uh, just a sec. I'll, I'll check. Wow. Somebody hit the big money. Sound like they're in ecstasy. Sorry, nobody turned any potato chips in. Uh, I also lost... Um, I was speaking with a woman who was amenable to, uh, you know, maybe meeting me again in person. Did anybody turn one of those in? <laughs> um, I, I don't believe so, no. Oh, that's horrible. I only ever found <laughs> one of those. Ah, uh, shoot. Might be some well, time before I find another one. Well, sometimes that takes a while. I heard somebody screaming. Did somebody win? Did somebody win big money? That I don't know about. Do you guys do like a supermarket sweep or Wheel of Fortune there? Yes, on Mondays and Tuesdays you can spin the wheel. Excellent, because I'm a wheel watcher from way back. All right. Yeah, just and uh, I know on that, Monday. Uh, that, yeah. On Monday, on Monday and Tuesday, if you earn 300 points uh, in that day, you can come spin the wheel for uh, a chance at free play. All right. All right. All right. You take care of yourself there. You too. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, bye-bye. Second, I put down a clean blanket. Felix is on it putting hair all over it. <laughs> Hello, Mellon Mouth from Hostel. Oh, Hostel? What are, are you, you hostile? Hostel? What are you Hostel about? Yeah, we're looking for a place that's copacetic and mellow. Nice. We don't want anybody who's going to be hostile towards us. <laughs> I see what you've done there. You're looking for a Did place you? tonight, or? You must be a smarty. Do you have a college education? Well, barely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever, whoever taught you, they taught you well, young Padawan. Thank you. So what about the guests? Are they amenable, or are they argumentative? Uh, generally, they're pretty great. Now, if I wanted to have an argument, do they charge for those? Oh, you probably could find that. Service. Like if I wanted, uh, you know, if you're willing to ask around. Like if you and I wanted to have an argument, what would you charge me per hour? Oh, I'm pretty bad at them, so I couldn't offer that. What did you do? You just ruined something. Oh, I did, yeah. I just dropped the book. <laughs> you dropped the what? A fork into the sink. Oh, I thought you... You were clanging your bong around in the sink. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't do that. So what kind of people stay there? Uh... 
all sorts. Holiday goers, hikers, people coming from the mountain, people coming for mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding during the winter. Of oh. Course. Yeah, I I'm not very athletic. Do you guys have a like eating there? Do you have a buffet? No, we don't have food here. But there is plenty around oh. the area. Do you think you could feed me if I came there? Ha, <laughs> no. I'd pay you extra. No. <laughs> How much? Uh, $100 a day. Oh, wow, that's a great deal. But you got to make me retarded pie tacos. It's a very special <laughs> recipe. That is. You'll have to send that to me first in advance. This call may be what recorded for quality as. Yeah, what, speaking of quality, thank you. What is the quality of, of your place there? What, what would you say are some of its best qualities? Ah, the location. The rooms, the facilities, and the weather and the bat Does the bathroom smell like a porta potty at the county fair in the summer? Oh, definitely not. Oh. Anyway, so why, why is this so cheap? I've got to get back to work. Um, were you looking to make a reservation yeah. or really? No, I was looking for a date with a sexy man with an accent. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway, I'll gotta get back to work. Um, thank you for the call. Feel free to make a booking. Yeah, you time. do. You do that thing called work. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yes. Yeah. Bye, sizzle chest. Thank you for calling Heavenly Secrets. In how can I help you? Oh. Hi. Oh yeah. Hi. We're keeping so many we're keeping so many secrets in this heavenly room. Uh, nah. Secret uh, is for only couples and heavenly is for family friendly. Uh, yeah, we we're we're a couple and we're smoking marijuana in the room. Uh, he's high. Yeah. He's really he's really high right now. Yes, we are yeah. smoking the ganja with your sister Chutia. Do you want to come? Oh, I thought he was uh, really. I think I thought. Hello. Hi, we're calling. I'm over here working at the Heavenly Inn. We're across the street. Okay. And we're gonna. We we had a couple unruly customers here. Like they were cussing and fighting. We're sending them over to you. They want to come stay at your place. Uh, for when? They're they're on their way. They broke a lot of stuff in one of the rooms that they were in. So we're we're gonna send them over to you. They're gonna stay with you now. Uh, uh, today? No, we sold out. Sorry. We no, I already booked the room. Available. I booked the I booked the, I booked the room for for them. They're gonna come over now and they're gonna they're gonna break a whole lot of your stuff. You book room? Yeah, I already booked it. No, we don't it. have I booked a room. it for them because I wanted them out. No, I already booked it. What did I, what name? But they. They can't stay what? here anymore because they're 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 criminals. So I sent them over. Oh, to you the, don't want it. Then you send them to me, a criminal. You're not nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I sent Bye -bye. you some criminals. Thank you for calling the Blackjack Inn. How may I help you? Hi, I, I'm. I work over here at the uh, the Heavenly, you know, the Secrets, the Heavenly Secrets Hotel. Okay. Uh, we're we're like right next door. Yeah, yeah. Um, we yeah. just had a couple of people we found we found uh, making uh, drugs in their room. Uh, we've kicked them out for the night, but we're sending them over to you. Okay. Why are you sending them to us? Well, because they were doing drugs in our room, and we don't we don't allow that. So I told them they can come no. over to your hotel and, and do drugs in your room. Uh, no, they don't allow that either. I, well, I've already sent it. them, so, uh, I mean, you're going to have to let them, because I already promised that they could. Uh, no way. No way. But they're already on their, they're already on their way. I helped what? them pack, and I put what them in is, a car. What is, what is your name? My name is Dwight, and I am the, I'm the night audit man. I'm the auditor. Okay. 
Okay. So they're coming, they're heading your way. They should be there in like five minutes. It wasn't hard drugs. Okay. It was only mar mar marijuana and ecstasy, and they broke, gla they broke the TV. Thank you for letting us know. Okay. Okay, they're on, they're on the, they're on their way. Enjoy enjoy the present I sent to you. <laughs> can I help you? <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yes. This is Sophie. How are you? Good. I, I have a problem. problem, you know. Boy. Besides a problem with the car and. What? Hello? Hello? I just uh, drive, it's just uh, the problem with the car, and I can go, you know, it's just uh, open the door and it get in and the drive is no work. What? Hello? What? Which room number six? Hello? I used to make a you know, reservation and I try to get, get to the car and then I try to drive it to, to, to the hotel and I. Hello? I not understand what you say. Which room number are you calling me? Okay, you might just uh, pick up the uh, 215. That's the wrong number. We don't have the 215. Okay? No, I drive it. No. Oh, no. Oh, ah. oh no. It's driving the car. No. It's okay. Let's make it. Make it. No. Oh. Hearthstone Lodge. Hello. Hey. hey. Hello. 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 We've been answering. Yes. Oh, I, I, par I parked. I parked my car in one of the rooms, and I can't get it out. You parked your car in front of one of the rooms. No, no, inside one of the rooms. What? Yeah. How, that's not possible. No, it is. I've got one. It's a new Tesla. I folded it up and I brought it in with me. Oh, he parked his car in inside one of the rooms. How is that possible? We have a three O door. Where uh, where yeah, are yeah. you? Um, uh, well, I, I ran to the store real quick, but I wanted. To, I, I thought I left it running. Could you go check? <laughs> I don't know where he is. He says he has a Tesla, and he can fold it up. Honey, turn on the deck light, please. Yeah. 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 Are you in the chateau? Did you? Are you the person yeah, that was yeah. going to arrive at two o'clock in the morning? Yeah, I got. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. Okay. He's the person. I folded that was, up the car and I took it in the room, but I think I left it running. I would. He, he said he folded up his car and took it in the room. What, what motel Here. Is he in? What motel are you in? I'm in the chateau. He's in the chateau. Which room? Uh, I don't remember. I, I, just, I just folded up the car and put it in there, and then I had to go get some snacks. I'm diabetic. Well, my husband's diabetic, too. Um, yeah. You can – I don't think that that's going to work very well – to have something that has oil and mechanical stuff on it. Oh, no, no, those runs on batteries. There's no oil. <sighs> what is your name, honey? Uh, my name is Dwight. Je hold on just a second. You know where he was okay. supposed to go. So you hey, left the key on the door. He's here now. He's in. He says he has his car in the room. I think we have to go look because this is... Um, we have to see. It, it's very difficult to make such beautiful rooms, and um, so we just have to make sure that it's safe for you, but it's safe for us too. Yeah, I folded it up nice and neat. It's over by my suitcase. How in the world can you fold a car up, even if it's okay? Um, we'll be up there in a second now. You said you wanted us to see if – are you talking about yeah, – I, I wanted to make sure – well, I plugged it in to charge it, but I want to make sure that I didn't leave it running. I don't know how we would know. How it's, You said it's in your room. Yeah, can you just unplug it from the wall? 
Okay. Uh, my husband's coming up to kind of see what the circumstance is. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, but can you open? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back. Well, I'll be back. I'm not there right now. Oh, Huck. Um, so you can't open, was it the first door, the second door? I think you had the third door down. It's called. Third door. Third door. Yeah. Royal Chateau. Yep. Was that yep. what was written on the door? Yes. Yes. Is there any grease or anything of that sort? No, because there's no engine. It runs on ba it runs on battery. How in the world can you be driving something safe that can be folded up like that? Wow, that's a that's a new one. It's it's Japanese technology. It's like an origami but car. Well, where are you now? Are you at dinner? I, yeah, I'm going to the store to get snacks. Okay. What I'd appreciate is when you come back go, and you're going to eat, go ahead and go in the library. That's the first door downstairs. And there's a kitchen there, and it it won't ruin the linens or anything like that to be eating in the dining room. And then... Then well then uh, you know go up after you're finished and just help yourself to the plates and silverware that you need, you know down there. There's even a kitchen down there. So um, are you at the grocery store or at the, at a restaurant or? Yeah, I'm at the grocery store. I got to get some glucose tablets and some chips and um, some licorice. Okay. Okay, you sound like you're from New York. Are you from New York or New Jersey? Uh, yeah, New Jersey, yeah. Yep, Trenton, New Jersey. Yeah, I went to school, college with some of kids from New Jersey, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, we all have our accent. I can go into a southern right, accent right. right now because I went to college in the south and my aunt relatives were down there, you know, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, it's been nice to actually meet you when you get back. So what yeah, yeah, I'll um, I'll come to the li I'll come to the library uh, area when I get back. But yeah, just unplug my car, please. Unplug your car, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's in the room. Okay. Bye. Okay. All right. Bye. Oh, good. More okay. echo. Front desk. This is Patty. Hi, Patty. Hi. What can I do for you? I got a problem. I'm trying to find your place there. We are right downtown Orofino. Big brick billion building at the only stop sign. On the stop sign? I don't I don't I don't see a stop sign. Did you come in Orofino? Across the bridge? Uh I'm kinda over by the uh the silk mill? Know where that is? No clue. It's a it's a hotel kind of thing. No, nope, we only have three hotels here in town. So we're by the seventeen. A what? The bit the seventeen route seventeen. No clue. Oh my, I think my GPS done led me astray. It might have. Or I, oh my goodness. Where am I? Let me let me zoom out from my GPS here. Yeah, if you Oh my use goodness. Bridge to come to Orfino. Dad, did you tell her that the white pines threw you out? It says I'm near Washington. How the hell? Did you just, did we just drive 3,000 miles in the wrong direction? <laughs> and what was your name? Uh, my name is J Billy, 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 Billy. And did you have a reservation with us? Uh, hell no, because I'm not even supposed to be here. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't got enough gas money to give back to uh, Oregon. 
That's about 3,000 miles away. Do you know someone to be willing to tr take a trade on a truck for maybe like a moped or e-bike? Not that I know of. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to hobo it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does any trains come through? Not in Orvino. We don't have any trains anywhere here. You said use Orf Orofino. Yeah. Battery low. That means that means fine gold, you know, like oh, like, my phone like, is gonna like, hang up on you here any minute. My headset is battery low. I'm gonna have to get off the phone. That's here. your headset? Battery yep. low. Oh my goodness. Battery low. You just got Oh, I hear it. Battery low. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get off here. Battery low. Uh, I'm gonna try to get off somewhere. I'll Battery pick, low. <laughs> you know, what airport. time? This is Tracy. How can I help you? Hello? Hi. Hi. How there? Where are you at? White Pine in Orofino, Idaho. God damn it, it's that Orofino again. It is. Look, I drove three th I drove three thousand miles in the wrong goddamn direction. There's okay, so I I put Orofino in the GPS. There's an Orofino on the left coast and on the right coast. Gotcha. I'm on the one on the right coast. Where oh. are you at? It depends on, so you talking north or, or, I mean, east or west? I'm the west. Oh, oh no. But not on the coast. I'm, I'm by the wrong Washington. <laughs> well, no, if you're in Washington, then you're close to Idaho. No, I'm in Washington, D.C. Oh, that is the wrong Washington then. See, this goddamn GPS done led me astray. I drove halfway, no, not halfway, <laughs> all the way across the country. Just to find Orofino, Idaho? I just put Orofino in the goddamn thing, and now I'm in Washington, <laughs> D.C. Gotcha. I don't know what I'm going to do. I ain't got enough gas money to get back home. Huh. I'm gonna have to jump. I'm gonna have to ride some trains. I'm gonna have to jump on. I'm gonna have to get a hobo stick. Walking. Put my underwears and my. I could sell my car and get an e-bike. I could just go. pedal for, day, for days, for days and days. Yep. Like Forrest. Didn't Forrest run I, I, for a long time? Yep. Yeah, a different version of Forrest Gump. Yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah, I could be like the e-bike and hippie forest gun. Yeah. And you could make your living. You don't, you don't, sound, too, you don't sound too sure about that. Oh, I'm going to have to get on the TikTok and the Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You think you, you think it'd be wire me some money? You know, I'll jump right on that. Yeah, I need about uh, $3,000 is what uh, United Airlines website saying for a flight back oh, to the yeah. right Washington. Mm. I'm sorry, the left, the Not west you. Washington. Yes. Are you wearing a it's... headset? No, sir, I'm not. I just heard something. Oh, I heard something mm -hmm. say battery low. There it goes again. Must have been yours. I'm not wearing a headset. Well, is your phone battery dying? Oh, shit. Battery low. Yeah. Now, I, low. oh, no. Now you really. How am I going to charge a phone now? I have no idea. All right, can I give you my book. bank account number? So, can I give you yeah. my account number so you yeah. can wire me some money? Yeah, please give me your bank account number and your social and date of birth. Um, Battery I'm going to need to know your 
mom's maiden name too. <laughs> okay, let me start. Let me start with my checking account. <laughs> that, sir, you have a great evening. And good luck Hi, getting back I'm, to Washington. I love you. I'm long from home. I'm long away from home. Oh, mm. I think there's some gentlemen over here might help me. Hello, sir. You have my mother. Your mother? Yeah, you have my mother in the trunk of your car. No, I ain't got nobody in the trunk of my car. Are you crazy? I was paying you for that. No, you you think it's some crazy things now. I don't... give you my mother, mom. Can I start by can I start no. by giving you my account number, sir? Sir, can I give you my account number? Yeah. Maybe he'll I maybe he'll pay a ransom. Maybe he'll pay a ransom to you to get his mom back out of the trunk of his car. There's an idea. But this ain't no true crime cheesy shit. I'm not. Uh, I'm in the back seat. Who are you? Oh, okay. Sir, you have mom. a great evening, okay? I have all right, I got to figure all this out. I got like three people who weren't part of the conversation before. Mama. Okay. Let me, let me so go I just get this all squared you. away. I'm going to make it easy for you. Good night. Hang up the phone. I just showed who's boss. Good evening, Motel 6, Clarkson, Washington. This is Tina. How can I best serve you? Hi, ma ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Oh, yes, okay, can, good. Um, can I help we, you? We have a we have a problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm hoping my friend. Um, I just came over. He just called me. He's in town visiting me. He's staying in your hotel, and he took some drug. Well, I don't know if they're a drug, but uh, do you know what poppers are? Uh, not really, but does it sound good? It, it, it helps. It helps. Yeah, it helps a man. Um, uh. Basically, it loosens his rectal area. It's usually used for like if you have uh, if you're constipated and whatnot. He uh -huh. took him and then went and sat on a toilet, and he the toilet's inside of him now. Battery low. Okay, what room is he in? Uh, he says he's on the second floor. I believe he's in two fifteen. Okay, we'll call the police. Well, I don't know what the police are going to do. Like, he, he just slid. Like, he sat down on the seat, and then it inside it went. Battery low. Is that your phone or my phone? No, I, I'm charged all the way. What, what's his name? Battery low. Uh, his, his name is Charles. And last name? And the last name is, is Doberman, D-O-B-B-E-R-M-A-N. Battery low. I don't have anybody in the uh, with that name. Well, he's definitely here because I, I'm I'm in the room with him. Okay, Battery then call low. the paramedics. Can you tell me what room number? It, it's gonna be it's two fifteen, but he's gonna be incredible. He's a high public official, and this is going to smear his name and embarrass him very publicly. You and know, we try to, to like not we would like to avoid that. I don't find this very funny at all, because we don't have anybody listed you, I, in that room. He's, ma'am, I've physically been there. I could understand, like, if I was calling you from outside of the hotel and I hadn't been there yet and I was making a mistake, physically I'm in the room. 215, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, yes. I'm going to go up to that room, and if there's not there, I'm home, please. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Hello? Thank you for calling River Tree in the Tweet. This is Nate. How may I help you? Hey, Nate. How you doing there, big bud? Um, uh, I, I need – do you got condoms there at the front desk? No. Uh, not not even to purchase or not, nothing like that? No, we don't. Okay. God damn it. it um, yeah. Uh, do you know a nearby place, maybe a gas station or something that might still be open that uh, sells uh, gas uh, contraceptive is... paraphernalia? Probably a num num yeah, is about a block and a half from us, yeah. Yeah, I already went there and I tried to purchase condoms and they turned me away. He said, Oh, due to my faith, I can't sell these to you. So, like, he's not allowing me to have contraception. Yeah, we're not associated with them, so I have no idea on that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know either. But I've got this chicken up here and I'm trying to be safe. I got you. I definitely understand. We all got to be safe when we're doing our chicken raping. Yeah, but I don't want to get no bird flu. I definitely understand.
<laughs> you have a good night. Thanks for calling yeah. Health or excuse me, Best Western Plus and at Health Canyon. My name is Sam. How may I help you? Hey Sam. Hello. Hello. You said your name was Sam. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Oh, okay, good. Um, I have I just left my room. I'm going to be returning tomorrow. Um, can you make sure, like, is there anyone that could go up there and make sure that people aren't using the gym in my room without the memberships? The gym in your room? Yeah, I brought some gym equipment with me. I've got a treadmill, an elliptical, uh, a bench weight set, uh, set up. Um, I just want to make sure people that aren't uh, paying the membership aren't up there in my room using it. Okay, I apologize, sir. I'm confused. You're you're calling the hotel, correct? And you have right, right. that set up in your, your I, room? Yeah, I have all I brought all of that with me and it's in my room currently. Oh, oh, it's in the um, weight room. It's in the No, 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 it's room. in my No, no, it's in my hotel room. And you want me to make sure nobody's up there using it unless they have a yeah, room, just, have a just, man? Yeah, just just to like maybe every couple of hours if somebody can go up to the room and check the membership cards. Uh, make sure they've got the, they, that it's valid first of all, and make sure that uh, they're using it safely. Okay, one one moment. Okay. Okay, hello. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? Oh, I don't. I didn't. Is this a totally different person now? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, okay. I was explaining to her that I I left on business. I have a room there currently. Um, I'm going to be returning tomorrow. Um, but when I came with me, because uh, I have a little bit of a thing against germs and using other people's gym equipment, I brought my own, and it's in my room. Uh, I've got, I told her I have an elliptical up there. I have a treadmill. I've got a bench weight set, uh, a few of the, uh, the kettlebells. I, mean, I wanted to see if you guys could go up maybe every couple of hours and make sure that people that are not a part of my – well, they don't have a membership they pay to me, make sure they're not up there using it. Um, so we actually don't have – any other rooms that have weight rooms except for the one that's down here by my pool? Are you sure you have the correct hotel? No, no, no. I'm saying I brought the, this is my personal equipment. I brought it with me. This isn't your guys' stuff. Oh, okay. It's in my room. And I, I, okay. I sell memberships online. And so people are actually, they, they're going up there to use it while I'm gone, my gym equipment. But I just want to know if you guys can go up and check membership cards to make sure that they're not um, in there using my oh. equipment free. I actually can't do that. We don't have the personnel I, to do that. Okay, because I run an Airbnb gym. Out of my hotel? Right. I rent the, I rent hotel space, like hotel rooms. I put the gym equipment in there. I'll rent it for like a week, and then we move to a different hotel. Uh, but, yeah, we're listed on your Airbnb. Last name? <clears throat> last name's Johnson. Okay, because um, you would probably remember me. I'm about I'm about six foot three, brown hair. Uh, I'm always in a suit. I I never get to dress down until I actually get to my room. Um, but yeah, I just want to make sure because I did have a couple of bookings on there uh, for while I was gone. Um, and if you could also make sure they're wiping down the equipment. There are a couple of people though that that won't be using the equipment that might be up there. Uh, where I, I also have that listed as a Pokemon Go gym uh, on the app. Oh my goodness! And so I'm just I'm just trying to get some cooperation. And since there's only two of you, I mean there's two of you there, I feel that you might have the uh, adequate manpower um, to do this for me. I mean, I would do it myself, uh, except for the fact that I'm currently, uh, I'm actually right now in South Carolina. Hello? Every single bone, bone in my body is screaming, this is a prank call. <laughs> No, no, I, I thought my phone cut out there for a second. I was, I was sitting there, I was like, man, because I don't get very good coverage out here. I had to actually go outside of the house uh, to make the phone call, and I was like, oh, man, I thought it cut out again. Nope. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
I'm sorry? Phone number? My Oh, my phone number. All right. Do you want the one that I, uh, that I have on file there that I gave you guys? If you are the oh, no, Johnson I'm staring at. It, okay, it's uh, 585-648-1705. Uh, that's not what I have on file. Okay, yeah, that's that's the number I definitely uh, checked in with. Okay. And that's, that, that's the number that you could contact me back at. I, I don't know what other number. I, I don't think I would have put the corporate number on. Uh, I believe I was on the second floor in 215. Yeah, you, nope. I don't even have that room sold today or at all. So It, it, was, def it was definitely on the second floor. But I, 215 sticks in my mind, though. And that's where I've been telling everybody to go. Okay, I'm going to say that I'm pretty sure this is a prank call. And I'm going to go ahead and hang up now. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a customer here. I'm trying to just get some accommodations. You're you know. not, though. I've, I've asked you multiple times, like, asked where the room was. The only person with the last and I, job and I gave you, And I gave you a very specific answer. And I already know what I gave you a he phone number. Sir, you can't you know what list company I work for. I'm my own boss. I didn't list okay, the hotel room as an Airbnb. I listed list the gym here. as an Airbnb. You can't list a gym and a hotel as an Airbnb. That doesn't work. It's Airbnb. Yes, it is. Do you go to the Airbnb site and then you you right there? They have you can stay in hotels, you can stay uh, in apartments, you can stay in timeshares. I have mine listed for the gym. Okay, not at this hotel. You didn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're acting like I don't know where I spend my money. I mean, if I want to go pull up my credit card statement right now, I could show you exactly, but we're on a telephone. We're not in person. That's, that's the whole problem here is I'm not sir, there sir, to do it, so sir. I have to talk if to someone had, with a small woman brain to woman try to figure it out. Okay, first of all, there's no need to be rude. But second of all, I've been here long enough that I know that if we had ellipticals and stuff on the second floor, definitely would have been told about it. So, again... I'm pretty sure you're either at the wrong hotel or this is a crank call. No, because I no, because I put down the thick rubber mats that absorb all the shock and sound of somebody that would be stomping around on a treadmill and elliptical. I'm very safe. I tried not to damage any any property. We just cleaned that room, and it's weird because I didn't see any of that equipment in there. Oh, either you're oblivious and you didn't see it because it's it's rather big. It's really hard to miss. Okay, I mean, so at is there, time, maybe, there's a, maybe, there's a, maybe there's a maybe there's a man I can maybe there's a man I can speak to uh, like a manager, oh, okay. a ma Goodbye. manager. Well, well, Garden Motel, how may I help you? Hello. Hello. Well, 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 Garden Motel. Well, well, well. What's your name? Yeah. Ma'am? Yes? Are you a What's guest? What's the name? Well, I'm, I want to check in there. Oh, the we're name? booked. We're booked tonight and tomorrow night. We have no rooms available. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I already reserved a room, so... Uh, for what uh, night? Tonight. Oh, what's your name? Steve. Steve, Dave. Oh, no, I don't... I don't think this is the right motel then. See, you're, you're really upsetting my my partner. He's, he's sighing uh. in the back. Um, are you sure you don't have our reservation? Uh. Under what name? I said Steve, Dave. Um, maybe it's my partner's name. Uh, First name Vince, last name McMahon. Uh, it's all right, honey. We're going to figure this out. Um, I'm not 
seen either uh, of those. No, you're not competent at your job. Excuse me? We're booked tonight. Oh, uh, no, I, I didn't see. Uh, um, and I've checked everybody in that's been booked. Oh. So it must be a different motel. What if I had privileges, like, pre, you know, like the... I'm a yeah. premier rewards member. Ugh. No, the the rooms are all booked. So, how the hell can they all be booked? It doesn't make any sense. There's only 17 of the rooms. We're booked on weekends, months out in advance. Ugh. No. Good luck with your search. Could, could could I sleep in like the the front lobby? Oh no, I guess not. Hello, how can I help you? Oh, hello. Hi, I need to know about your property. Sir, I I need to uh, ask you about the quality. The quality is there. Uh, can I put you on a quick hold? Yeah, three right. back. Thank you. There are so many positive qualities that you could have. For example, you could be warm, friendly, yeah. clean, honest, loyal, trustworthy, dependable, open-minded, thoughtful. Hello? Hello? Hi. Uh, you said you wanted to know about our qualities? Yeah, I wanted to know if you guys have the following qualities. Okay. Are you warm and friendly? Uh, yeah. Are you clean and honest? Yep. Are you polite and patient? Yes, we are. Are you easygoing and punctual? Of course. Are you suave and wholesome? You could say that. Are you frank but attentive? Of course. Are you likable but reasonable? Uh, that's for you to tell me, actually. Are you romantic and adventurous? Uh, hmm. My girl might Why is that one so. so hard for you? My girl might say A so. A girl. Okay. Do you have good customer service? Of course. Do you engage in critical thinking? In critical thinking? Sometimes, most of the time, yes. How are your conflict resolution skills? Pretty good, actually. You ask me. Oh, okay. Are you logical and humble? Humble, yes. Logical, a little. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, so you're more of an emotional guy, going back to that romantic thing. <laughs> Are you argumentative Not and dishonest? Not at all. Are you sarcastic and jealous? Sarcastic? Yeah, everybody's jealous, of course. Oh. Are you lazy and forgetful? No, 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 sir. Are you unfit or out of shape? Uh, I'm more like average. Okay, do you have bad teeth and bad posture? Um, no, no, oh. no, no, yeah. Do you no. spend a lot of time answering dumb questions? Like right now, yeah. No, I'm just joking. Excellent. <laughs> well, you have a good night, sir. Thank you, you for too. playing. Uh, of course.
Good night. Love you. Good night. This will be the last call. Thank you for calling the Comfort Inn and Suites in Walla Walla. My name is Stephanie. How may I assist you? Stephanie, I need help. How I need I need uh, you know how uh, when I you know I came in and I you know I sat down and the, the paper you know to do the you know the wiping of the posterior it's uh, it's you know it's not it's not uh, it's not here it's not here at all. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay. Where are you located? I'm currently standing uh, here with my posterior off of the uh, the, the throne. Um, I I I am I'm holding it. I'm holding things, you know, so it doesn't make you know, a mess. Yeah. Uh, what I'm just room standing number? Standing here. I don't recall, and I I don't have my glasses on, so I couldn't I could not tell you what what the number is on. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Um. Do what recall, is your last but name? It was, oh, that's the other funny thing. I, I this. I'm on a trip with a whole bunch of people, and they booked the room, so I don't know who it's under. They just keep handing me the Hi. key. Hi. Oh. Hello. Yeah, there's many of us here. Um. Go. What's the number? To to the room. We don't. To know. the other people. What is what is oh, your phone you know number? Do you know what the number is? Uh, I no, know the, the number. The number to oh. the... No, it's not two. It's definitely not two. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. It's wrong. You want my credit card number? Is that what you're saying? I think she asked for a No, I need number. the room number. My social security number. Oh, my social number. security? Or my social, his social security no, number. No, room. What room okay, are you gentlemen um, in? Well, I don't know that. Okay. I can't see. But this man here, I don't know who he is. He walked into the bathroom while I'm holding my my posterior uh, side yeah, side. Yeah. So, so my social security number sit down later is uh, my pants and my trousers. You know, because there's no paper. Oh. Yeah, that's a whole other thing we got to unpack. Um, can I? Okay. So you want the social security number or the credit card number? I'm looking for your room number. What room are you oh. in? Oh. Oh, I just should have said that for, to begin with. Uh, 215. I'm, okay, I will be up there with the toilet paper in just a few moments. Toilet paper? No, no, can, no, no. Can I ask a question about item. that? No. Wait. Not toilet paper. No, okay. no, no. I think you're, I'm confused you've got it here. Wrong. Yeah, no, that's no. You've got it wrong. You got it wrong. It's got. It. You got. It okay. Wrong. Well, if we're not going to use toilet paper, what are we going to use? But I thought we were going to use our tongues. That's I thought I already used your shirt, so I better to switch to toilet paper. Well, uh, is the toilet paper soft? Or is it that like scratchy kind? Because I I have issues. I I would definitely say it is soft, sir. Oh, excellent. I was because I, I, I can't okay, use that. So I can't use that four hundred grit. Yeah. I tried using. We need the brush. We have to clean. Oh, it you use the yeah. toilet brush on your tuchus? Yeah. Doesn't it's everybody? Gross. No, yeah, that's for is. cleaning the I toilet, not up, yourself. Uh, I will be up soon, great. sirs, with uh, the solution to your problem. Have you ever tried it, ma'am? Have you ever used a toilet brush on your posterior to clean up? No, I have not, and I would imagine it's not uh, it's very amazing. pleasant. It's it's amazing. You would be surprised. We have a friend, uh, Lulu, who said that one hotel her friend worked at, they used those to dust the vents in the bathroom. That's horrible. You don't yes, see that, do you? Yes, that is most certainly horrible. Because there need to be poop okay. everywhere. Yes, well, yes, there most that's certainly what, what would be. Do do okay, it. so that we can both get what we want. I need toilet paper and he needs a fresh brush. For my posterior. 
Uh, okay. A fresh One brush for my posterior. Of... Thank you. Please and thank you. Yep. Please and thank you. Not a problem. I love you, I will be up soon. Thanks, Mom. I love you. <laughs> okay. Bye. Safe back or it's weird. <laughs>